a yummy, sumptuous, and nonetheless beautiful pizza in order to start off this edition of Chop Vietnam. Now, pizza, as we all know, comes all the way from Italy, but this particular pizza has a Japanese twist and uses Vietnamese ingredients. And what is so special about this pizza are the people behind it. It is a journey of a Japanese couple that left their corporate jobs in order to start up a chain of restaurants here across Vietnam. We'll get a chance to learn more about their journey as well as the story of Pizza for Peace. Eight restaurants all across Vietnam, five in Ho Chi Minh City, two in Hanoi, and one in Da Nang, in the heart of the city's main business districts. Fully booked most of the time, with tens of thousands of diners each month. That is a dream for any F&B business in Vietnam, especially those around for only seven years, like Pizza for Peas. Looking at Pizza for Peas nowadays, one cannot imagine the chain was started humbly from Yosuke Masuko's small idea of making pizza in his home's backyard in Kichijoji, Tokyo. Together with his wife, Sane Tagasugi and friends, they have turned that idea into one of the most successful chains of restaurants in Vietnam. Pizza for Peas now has been praised in the New York Times, BBC, and by well-known food critics around the world for top-notch quality pizza and service. Hello, Masuko and Sunny. Thank you so much for joining Talk Vietnam. Congratulations on your eighth restaurant of Pizza for P, uh, launching uh, today uh, on Hai Ba Chung Street in Ho Chi Minh City. Um, tell us a little bit uh, about your feelings. You know, this is your eighth restaurant uh, after such a short time of, of kind of developing Pizza for P. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. The, the, we're so excited to have you today. To finally, we could open the grand opening to here. Yeah, but for us, it's not so short time to yes build the eighth store. Yes, and yes. Then see having it today is your kind of long journey for us already. This all started about 14 years ago from the hobby of making pizza. <laughs> Can you share with us a little bit about kind of where your love for pizza started? Yeah. At the beginning, it's just by chance. Uh, actually, I, uh, at that time, ex girlfriend, my ex girlfriend, <laughs> told, asked me to make a pizza oven. It was long time secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, this time already I knew it already. So I, <laughs> no secret at all already. Yes. <laughs> so the group of my friends uh, uh, got together. They are working in different fields, and every weekend we gather to bring build a pizza oven by our hand. Oh, and wow. got muddy and dirty like the kids. <laughs> yeah. Then after uh, pizza oven completed, the pizza party began. And every weekend, we uh, friends invite friends. Then the party gather uh, around the pizza oven. Yes. Then our friends uh, made original their original pizza. Wow. Then shared uh, to others. And they chat. Uh, they chatted um, food pizza tasted the best. Uh -huh. Like a compete each other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh wow. Then uh, all people are connected. Then turn everyone into friends. Yes. Do you remember your first pizza that you made? Yeah, I never had that. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, it was like uh, okonomiyaki. Ah, yes. Okay. yes. Which means like anything we put. Anything you put on. Yeah, everything yeah. we put. That's and the best thing about pizza though, you can ah, put yes. anything in it. <laughs> <laughs> but the taste was awful at the first time. <laughs> <Awful>. <laughs> at the first time, at the beginning. Yes. But we yeah, discover how we can improve. Then, then we are very fascinated. Like uh, magic, magic, we can call magic of pizza and magic of the pizza oven. Yes. I uh, changed the like, connecting the people, people to people mm. immediately. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it sounded very fun, you know, like a competition mm. to see who can make the best <laughs> pizza. From then on, where did your journey take you next? I mean, uh, from from when did you have this idea of kind of developing it into a business? Mm. The pizza party I mentioned uh, last about six months. 
until、uh, that time we have to break the oven because of the government took that land. Oh. But six months, every weekend we had a party. Yes. Then <coughs> my best friend also joined to build the、uh, pizza oven. Then he, that was really big impact to him. Like changed his entire life. Yes. He was film director,、okay. commercial, commercial film director at that time. But because he really fascinated by pizza oven and pizza party, so he changed his career to pizza chef. That's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> From film director to pizza chef. Yes. <laughs> yes. Then he worked for、uh, one of the most popular pizza restaurant、wow. in Japan for three years. Three years. Yes.、Uh, but at that time,、uh, we, of course, like often talked.、Uh, in, a, in one day, maybe we want to open pizza restaurant、yes. together. But then, of course you didn't. You probably didn't imagine that. Yeah, we couldn't you know. imagine it. <laughs> She couldn't imagine yeah, actually, even. Actually, we never. <laughs> yes. yes. So after we came to Vietnam,、uh, I I didn't imagine that I will independent of the pizza. Oh really? No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> But I couldn't find any pizza which I like.、Uh, yes. At that moment in Vietnam. So I. Start to think. Why not、uh, make your own? Make, yes. Yosuke Masuko studied sociology and film in England and Australia, while Sane Tagasugi studied Chinese politics and new media in Japan. Searching for a way to improve his business acumen, Yosuke approached Cyber Agent, which specializes in investments in internet-related startups, about opening a branch in Hanoi. In 2008, he moved to Hanoi as country director of the Tokyo headquartered firm. At that time, Sane Tagasugi also worked for the media unit at Cyber Agent. They met while working in Japan and decided to quit in 2011 to start chasing their own dreams, following a saying: "What makes this world exciting is nothing but your own mind." So I understand that you both had、uh, stable jobs at Cyber Agent、uh, Ventures. Why did you decide to leave、uh, that stable corporate job in order to pursue a more freelance life? When I was 22, 23 years old,、uh, I like to go to the camping. So I like the outdoor activities. Yes. Our first date was also camping. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Accidentally, <laughs> <laughs> really, you weren't supposed to go on a camping trip together. <laughs> yes, then one day we want.、Uh, I wanted to make an eco resort. That was my dream. Yes. Then I didn't have enough confidence. Yes. But after I worked as a venture capitalist,、uh, I had kind of confidence to start myself. So we talked about. The, what we can do in the future for our life work, something creative. Then pizza, the memory of pizza party came to. Yeah, came to. Then we yeah, we decided that that is a maybe good start to like a very the first step to become to the like, to a, like a, doing a, your to own business, a startup.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, from that idea of having your own pizza place, your pizzeria here in Vietnam, what happened next? You know,、uh, do you remember your first restaurant? How difficult was it setting up a new restaurant in Vietnam?、Mm. Uh, first of all, the location. We've seen more than one hundred. The location, the property. Wow,、yes, more than a hundred locations. Yes.、Yeah, then, then finally, we found that. That the current the original the Letanton the、yes. Arrays one, yes. So first difficulty is finding the location, and then after that,、uh, everything like we don't know about the, like the construction license or the government,、yes. yeah, that kind of regulation we don't any. Yes, all of the administrative <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, and then the the key the we spent a lot of time to develop the, our own recipe. Yes. Yeah, that part is not like a difficult, but we had、uh, 
fun a lot. There. Yeah, you yeah. had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, do, you know, you obviously had help along the way from your friend Yoshi. And uh, did, did you get any other kind of uh, inspiration or help from other people in developing the recipes? Yes, a lot. Uh, we actually, to, during the developing our original pizza, we invite our Vietnamese friends into ah. our home. At that moment, we live together with Yoshi and then Cheese Craftsman, the K. And then us, our family, and we live together. We share the one house, yes. and then the, we invite a lot of the Vietnamese friends to tasting the like which kind of ingredient or which kind of sauce, yes, taste, yes, they like. Yes. yes. So a lot yes. of experimenting. Mm, yes, similar to the like original pizza party. Pizza party. <laughs> Some special pizzas of Pizza for Peas are signature ones, including burrata parma ham, burrata anchovy tomato, classic Italian ones consist of margarita, Milano salami, and chorizo margarita. In addition to house-made cheese, Pizza for Peas also offers original ones, such as salmon sashimi, smoked cheese seafood, spicy tomato sauce, teriyaki chicken, Japanese ginger pork pizza, you name it. Recently, Pizza for Peas launched pizza with cha ka, or fish turmeric dill sauce, or fish turmeric dill sauce, a dish that combines cheese and shrimp paste in one. Let's go back to the name Pizza for P. Why yeah. was it for P? <laughs> the for Peas stand for like a four peas. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's not only four P's, like in in terms of four P, but uh, also four P's. Yes. Yes. The, at the beginning, like our vision is makes the world smile for peace. Yes. And then our mission is delivering world, sharing happiness. So to achieve that kind of like make the world the better place yes. with the full of the smile. So we try to delivering world, you know, sharing happiness in. Pizza for Peace restaurant yes. each there. It's, it's a full experience when people come to eat at your restaurant. It's not only about uh, you know eating the pizza, but enjoying the atmosphere, sharing good food with friends, right? Yeah. And uh, when people are happy, when they eat well, they will be happy, and it will be a more peaceful and happy world. <laughs> Is that what you're yes. you're aiming towards? Near the exact area. So yes. not not only for the customer, we believe that the once we are like a real member. Uh, see their customers smile, you know, they got the positive energy from the customer again. Yeah. You know, exactly. So you're that kind of like a positive circle, yeah, you know, we yes. want to build. Yeah. You know. yes. Now in the beginning, um, in that first restaurant you invested about a hundred thousand uh, US dollars in, in that first restaurant. Um, what kind of happened next? You know, what are some of the hurdles that you had to overcome in order to expand your your horizons? We had a difficulty of the management people. Yes. How to manage Vietnamese people. Uh, we kind of like force our way to Vietnamese. Like has to be like this, has to be like this. But so many members quit. Yes, it easily, didn't work, easily. right. So we kind of uh, we learn, learn from that their experience. So. We failed a lot. Yes. Then we learned from them. So <laughs> here, the we know the of course we are Japanese, and then here is Vietnam. Yes. Yes. Of course, there is a big differences between culture. the culture. Yeah. So that is not. This is correct. Not this. Uh, this is uh, not correct. Yeah. Not, not like that. So we try to build something the alternative. Yes. The our solution. And so that there can be a communication yeah. between both sides. It, yes. So, yes. but but at the beginning we don't even for us is a kind of totally. So three, everything is a uh, first time. So even the F and B business as well. So so we don't know about the, what is the, like a correct solution. So yes. we try to something enforce the, yeah. our way, but that that is not. So yeah, we learn little by little, and we try to find the solution together. Yes, but I believe you. Uh, the you know currently still have a very detailed and very strict. Uh, kind of process when it comes to choosing the people that work for you. Mm -hmm. um, can you talk a little bit about that process? We very care about the detail. Yes, that, that is a kind of a pleasure things from the Japanese culture. Yeah. So 
So that kind of like a good things we want to keep it and then try to uh, explain them the why we care about that detail. And if we, uh, but they can understand if we, behind that there is a story or there is a reason. They got the oh is that why do we should we care about that detail. So like each like not only the design or something but the each recipe like a pizza. Yes. Yeah, we decide if we have uh, some rules to how to topping. Yes. And uh, each pizza. How yes. to put the cheese when Mission, customer yeah. number of the customer is six when customer is number of is eight. How to cut ah, the six? How yes. to cut eight? Even yes. for the topping. Like the one bite, how big is it? So we That's true. estimate. So each kind of bite or each slice has a piece of everything. Yeah. Here. Yeah, and it's not. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's attention to to detail that will ultimately mean the satisfaction mm -hmm. of the customer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, that we do like to do like a sharing happiness. So we want the uh, like a pizza. We want our pizza shared to the yeah uh, many the same people. amount of happiness <laughs> to everyone. Yeah? You can feel the team spirit and hospitality as soon as you enter a Pizza 4 Peas restaurant. From the cooks who prepare each pizza like it's a work of art. And the wait staff who ensure each dish is full of love and flavor for customers of all ages. To the owners who work non-stop to improve quality and service. In order to bring customers top quality service, the staff must undergo training for months following Japanese standards. They're trained in customer service as well as in every detail. The most important thing is to do pizza. The quality of the pizza is very high. They follow these rules. Điều đó em nghĩ là cực kỳ quan trọng bởi vì nó ảnh hưởng đến khách hàng. Cụ thể như ví dụ một cái bánh thì phải là đế vàng, giòn, viền phòng và topping ở trên tất cả đều nướng chảy ra hết tất cả mọi thứ. Ở Visa Phobi em thích sự sáng tạo trong cả món ăn, vấn đề trang trí tất cả mọi thứ. Và cái nữa là không gian mở. Không gian mở ở đây là khách hàng được tiếp xúc với nhân viên làm. À, có thể khách hàng có thể thấy được tận mắt cái bánh mình làm ra như thế nào khi mà khách hàng mà cảm ơn bọn em hoặc là khen bọn em cái gì đó bọn em cảm thấy rất là hạnh phúc thì đó What makes the staff here happy is the team is like a big family not just between the staff themselves but also between staff and customers Đối với người Nhật thì họ rất là chú trọng về cái phần mà thân thiện với khách hàng, niềm nở với khách hàng. Dạ, không khí làm việc đây rất là thoải mái, giống như là gia đình vậy. Tụi em không có nghĩ là mình đi làm mà giống như là mình làm mình ở, đang ở nhà vậy đó. Khi khách đến thì giống như là người thân mình quay trở về và mình phục vụ họ một cách thức rất là thoải mái, dạ, chân thành nhất thôi chứ không phải là gọi là khách hàng với nhân viên hoặc là khách hàng đến ăn gì hết. In keeping with Japanese culture, the work environment also follows high standards. These include being on time and paying attention to detail. Another thing that brings the team closer is trusting one another. Taukia Oku, the restaurant manager, was one of the first to join the startup. His journey with Pizza 4 Peas began when Masuko, his former colleague, shared his passion and vision for Pizza 4 Peas. The restaurant business is all about people. So uh, we train the, the staff every day and uh, make sure uh, all the staff work as a professional. We're not sure if the Pizza 4 Piece is going to be successful or not, but uh, it's all about people. So uh, when I talked to him, I felt his passion about the business and also the restaurant. So, you know, that's, you know, got me interested. When you started out 20, in 2011, you said you, there, there wasn't any pizza that, mm. that, that you found that was good, but obviously now there are more. And uh, do, do you have a special kind of strategy in order to, to keep going? Basically, we don't do marketing yet so much. Advertising things uh, we don't do, yes. But we just more focus on the keep quality yes. of the, yeah, our standard in each branches. So that's much more... That, that's much more important to mm, you. Meeting yes. with customer satisfaction is most uh, effective. 
advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But the, so we made the effort a lot for the gathering the feedback from the customer. So yes. that's we put the like our like a customer survey in each restaurant, so that the we we, we can get the feedback at that time. So also we can find yes. some improvement uh, at the yes. day by day. I remember yeah. these forms. I filled out <laughs> before. No, they, they, they are. They are the ones that will help you to mm. to make your service better and to make your food quality better. Yes. Approximately twenty thousand survey a month we can wow. get. Wow, that is really helpful for yes. us to find the, all the issues and improvement. Exactly. Um, now let's talk a little bit about the ingredients that you use. Um, obviously, uh, you are building up an FNB a service here in Vietnam. So a lot of the, most of the ingredients you use are Vietnamese. Um, can you talk a little bit about where your ingredients are sourced from? Yeah. When we think about the how we can make people a customer happy, it automatically comes to commitment to the ingredients. Yes. So. So we have the concept farm to table. Our priority is taste to yes. meet customers. Makes customers smile. Yes. yes. <laughs> what gave you the idea to start a cheese factory? When you open the uh, first restaurant, cheese is the uh, key essential ingredient in pizza. In pizza, when we want to serve our ideal pizza. But at that time, uh, nobody made fresh cheese in Vietnam. Ah. Aside from the import, uh, which we cannot serve the fresh yes. because it takes three, five days already. So the conclusion is to make by... Make your own, yeah, cheese. own cheese. And I'm, and, and I'm sure imported cheese are also very expensive I mean, mm. in the long run for your mm. business. It, mm. was, it wasn't going to be sustainable. Mm. Um, tell us about your cheese factory in, in Dalat. What is it like? Uh, the first we set up the cheese factory in in Ho Chi Minh. Ah, okay. Yeah, the first same we, restaurant same. inside the restaurant. Inside the yeah, restaurant. More like a, not factory, like a label. <laughs> label. Like, <laughs> we didn't even know how to to make cheese. To make cheese. <laughs> yes. So we wrote a letter to cheese craftsman in Japan, yes. but nobody answered. Yeah, they so, refused. Yeah. <laughs> so at the, at the end, we had to check the YouTube. YouTube. Yes, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> How to make cheese? <laughs> yes, yes. How did your first cheese turn out? Actually, at the beginning, though, there that is, there were not cheese at all. Like uh, we can like uh, not cheese you like this, and <laughs> just kind of melt like everything. You cannot like uh, hang anything. Yeah. <laughs> It took three to six months to, yeah. to perfect it. Cheese. Yes, and at first you made mozzarella. Is yeah. that yes. right? Mozzarella. Yes. Then after two th two years. Uh, we didn't satisfy with the quality of milk, which is the key ingredient of the, yes. the cheese. Then uh, we could find the good quality of the milk in Dalat because in Dalat. of the climate. Yes. So that's why we moved to Dalat to get better quality of milk. Better quality of milk yes. and uh, that's, that's where you get your milk in order to make the cheese. Yeah, yes. um, but even after that, yeah, we had a contracted farm. Yes. But even though we couldn't satisfy with the quality, so we decided to buy own cows. We had a own cows oh, yes. in at our farm. Only like 15 cows yes. to mm -hmm. test. Yes. How, what kind of feeding is good for milk? Wow. How affect for the milk quality? Yes. The, yeah. mm. So you've you've become a little bit of an expert now in the agricultural <laughs> scene as well. Everything is connected. It's yeah. difficult. Yes. Like feeding is connected to soil, and yes. soil is connected. To How to make the cows the most happy so yes. they could create they could create good milk, right? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Don Duong Town, a one-hour drive from Dalat City. Masuko and his team spend lots of time visiting farms in Dalat to inspect the business, talk with farmers, and see how they raise cows before sending out products to customers. They follow the concept of from farm to table. Every day, milk is brought to the cheese factory to make the cheese. At the factory, product development and improvement are strictly followed to ensure the best products for customers. 
close attention is also given to daily production and quality control. We want our artisans to learn about cheese. They must understand it. This is the first and most important step. They taste the cheeses for themselves. They get a feeling for the cheeses we make. The learning process begins like this. We focus on cheese, but more importantly, on the milk itself. We use high-quality milk from Dalat to safely produce our cheeses. <laughs> Tất cả các nhân viên khi mà vào xưởng là phải qua một hệ thống thay đổi trang phục Rồi cứ 45 phút chúng ta phải vệ sinh tay một lần, xịt ăn côn Tất cả dụng cụ là trước khi sử dụng phải trụng với nước sôi hoàn toàn Học cho người Nhật là chúng ta học được một cái cách làm việc rất là phải chăm chỉ và có trách nhiệm, tinh thần trách nhiệm cao Bởi vì thực phẩm nếu như mà chúng ta không có trách nhiệm làm chỉ cần sơ sẩy một chút xíu thì ảnh hưởng rất là lớn và Ảnh hưởng tới khách hàng như vậy là không tốt Nhưng chúng tôi phải tuân thủ theo điều đó và làm ngày càng hoàn thiện bản thân mình hơn Launched in 2011, the initial purpose of the cheese factory was to produce mozzarella for the restaurant. However, now there are more than 20 artisans each day producing eight different cheeses, including mozzarella, bocconcini, burrata, camembert, ricotta, and mascarpone to provide for their restaurant as well as supermarkets and shops all around the country. As we said, there's uh, different types of varieties of cheese, so I'm very excited to try some of these cheese, if possible. Cheers. Yes. Great. Thank you. <laughs> wow. A whole platter. This is a huge platter. Can you share with us? Can you introduce a little bit about the types of cheese? Yes. This is all made uh, in the cheese factory. Yes. The whole of the all kind of the, our house-made cheese. Yes. So this is a camembert. I will try the one closest to me first, mm -hmm. which is camembert with a bit of apple. Enjoy. Mm. I'm a big cheese fan, so <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Among these uh, different types of cheese, which one is the most difficult to make? It's a, uh, I think burrata. Burrata. Yes. So this. Uh, blood uh, is made same like a mozzarella cheese. Uh, surrounded the outside is a kind of same as a mozzarella cheese. Oh. But inside we have a fresh cream with uh, some uh, uh, like a stripe of the card. The oh. cold card is uh, yes the cheese. So we make it like we make this shape is a very need a technical. Yes. Yeah, the skill. Uh, yeah, needed skill need to make it. Yeah, exactly. because we need to do very fast yes. and make it very beautiful. You're yeah, very beautiful. <laughs> so the burrata, which uh, you know, Sunny says is one of the most difficult cheeses to make. What is so special about it for me as a customer is when it's put on a pizza, and then it comes out to your plate, and the waiter cuts it, and it opens like into a balloon with pieces of burrata coming onto each piece and it's the same bloom that kind of melts in your mouth. It's heaven. Very, very nice. <laughs>
đồng thời là thu gom thu lại những cái 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 nước sữa của anh ấy để tiếp tục tưới lại cho cánh đồng cái nước sữa thì khi mà anh ấy chế một số các cái pho mai ấy thì nó sẽ còn chỉ lấy được protein thôi còn một cái nhiều rất nhiều các chất khác là không lấy hết thì như vậy là thay vì thải ra môi trường thì mình lấy lại tưới trên đồng ruộng cái cây thì nó sẽ khỏe hơn và nó sẽ cứng hơn và nó có cái vị ăn nó ngon hơn cái quan trọng nhất là cái làm sao mà khép kín được giữa nợi giữa hai bên bên hai bên với nhau còn một cái bên thứ ba nữa là môi trường thì cái đấy rất là quan trọng Starting from a passion to ensure high quality foods for its customers Pizza 4 Peas Farm has become much more than this purpose It is the secret to their delicious dishes and a pioneer of the farm to table concept in Vietnam has it been kind of working with Vietnamese farmers, um, the, the farmers in Dalat? Some are very good. It's, we couldn't imagine how good they are. Some are <laughs> <laughs> I difficult to, to work hold, with. Yeah, to work with. Yeah. Some, yeah, so it's very difficult to make a trust relationship between yes. the also at the, it takes a time. Yeah, we need time yeah. to yeah, need build a so kind of confidence yeah. between one between. another and um, you know obviously with uh, with food quality yeah. it has to be long term mm. and it has to be something that you have to continually check and keep up the standard with yeah. now one of the things that you uh, try to um, embody in your whole um, kind of business is the spirit of Japanese hospitality it's uh, omotenashi yeah. Uh, for people who don't know, can you please share a little bit about uh, Omotenashi? What does it mean and how important is it for your business? The Omotenashi is a yeah, the kind of Japanese hospitality spirit. The service my hospitality mind comes from the bottom of like a heart. Ah. So so that the I do these things because I want you will want to be happy. Yeah, to be happy. Like a more if I invite my family to Vietnam, so I prepare a lot of things to make my family to happy. So that is a like a, like a, there is no like condition be, because you're beautiful or <laughs> because yes. Uh, yes, that customer is rich. Yes. Exactly. Yes, no matter that, uh, yeah, we want to make yes. people happy. So we're willing to do. That's ah, I understand. So it's almost like a, a spirit of, of, of service and hospitality um, you know, even though it's a business and even though it's a service, uh, you are giving your all in order to make your, your customer happy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, as if they were your own family. <laughs> yes. So that why the not only for in like a restaurant, the not only for the restaurant members, but also we like a supporting office members. Also, we uh, we want them to have omotenashi spirit. So that's the like your internal communication also having with the omotenashi spirit is a yes. kind of a good like a culture your company culture to build yes in 2011 when pizza 4 peas restaurant first opened up to 90 percent of customers were japanese but within six months the food quickly became popular with westerns The lightness, there's not so much on it. I like that, yes. And I can see what's on it, and I know it's fresh. The bread is very uh, crispy, and, um, and the cheese uh, tastes very good. Very light taste. Perfect. I like the, um, the crispy bread, and then the soft cheese. It's a nice combination. But what makes Masuko proud is that his passion for food has led him and his team to create a menu that suits the taste of locals. And now, 70% of the chain's diners are Vietnamese. Đã biết trước là pizza phô bi là của anh người Nhật thì em rất là thích cái mô hình của anh ấy ở Việt Nam tại vì nó rất là mới so với các mô hình pizza khác. Nó rất là ngon là tại vì nó là sự kết hợp nó em so với các mà loại pizza mà em thử nó là em thấy được nó là sự kết hợp giữa Âu và Á. The restaurant has also received positive feedback across media, including big review websites.
But Pizza Four Peas is more than a restaurant that serves delicious food. It aims to be a special oasis where customers can feel the excitement of leaving behind the ordinary, yet feel comfortable at the same time. The restaurant's cozy atmosphere, thoughtfully designed by the founders, sums it all up. Everything at Pizza Four Peas is done with its motto in mind, delivering wow, sharing happiness. What are some of your goals for, for the next 10 years? What's your big vision yeah. for Pizza 4P? Will there be many more restaurants? Um, will it develop beyond Vietnam, maybe? So our vision is to make the world smile for peace. Yes. To achieve that, we, of course, we need to more develop in Vietnam, but we want to also expand to overseas. Yes. Uh, regionally and even developing country. Just as a 4P, we want to achieve their big target. It's like a 10% of the world population. We want to make smile. Oh, yeah. Yes, <laughs> with pizza. Yes. If you just think back, seven years ago, uh, you started out in a very quite small restaurant. You made your own oven. Everything started out very rustic. And now, you know, you are the owner of a chain of restaurants that's huge in Vietnam. Um, what advice would you have for other people starting up uh, out there, not only in the F&B services, but starting up you know, their own business, their own venture, um, saying goodbye to their stable job to start <laughs> something new? We are still small, so we cannot do otherwise. But the, we are lucky because we could find what we want and what we love, so that we can keep the the yeah, <laughs> we, we can keep the motivation and passion because we love, love what we do. Yes. So, most important things is to find. Yeah, you know, what you love or what you believe. Yes, exactly. Although they are busy at work, Yosuke and Sune always have spare time to take care of their small family in Vietnam. Now they have two children. One is eight years old, the other is three. Vietnam is where everything has started uh, for you both. What about Vietnam uh, do, do you love? For me, people and then environment. Yes. The Final. relationship between the people is close, closer than Japan, we felt. Uh, I remember that the first time when she came to Vietnam as a first month, uh, we took the, our baby, to uh, maybe one year old baby, to the supermarket. At yes. that moment, it was like uh, only seven months or uh, something. Seven, seven months. months. Seven seven months. months. Yeah. Yeah. This is your first child. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And we were uh, shopping. Then one, uh, maybe 40 years old woman came to us. Then she said she can take care of the yes. baby when she we are. She wanted to carry. Oh. Yeah when we are shopping. So, uh, so the, uh, we gave the baby to yes, her. her, then we walk around. Then when we came back, uh, we were very surprised that, that she giving the milk oh. <laughs> to her baby. Yes, <laughs> Actually, by herself. Very <laughs> sweet, very sweet. At that time, she was shocked. Shocked, I shocked. Oh my God, my baby. Taking the... Because See, she's kind of my... jealous. Yes. <laughs> My daughter seems very like her, like her satisfied with <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, yeah. But it's because it, it's come from like uh, kindness. Yes. Mm. So yeah, yeah, that is the one example. Yes. yes. Like yes sometimes uh, our kids go disappear, like uh, <laughs> in lunchtime. Yes. And we looked for where, where, and my daughter came back from the, the house next to. Yeah, the neighbors. And, yeah, the neighbors. neighbors. And asked uh, where did you go? Then they had a lunch the next time <laughs> without any, anything. So that happened maybe in Japan 30 years ago. Yes, yes. maybe. But no, you know. Mm -hmm. But nowadays no, no. in Japan we cannot find that kind of thing. Yes. So yeah. we are very happy. Yes. To you you like kind of the human connection yes. and uh, and the much. relationship between people here. here. It yes, that inspired you. What does Vietnam mean for you both as a as a family? For me, the like, a, like home, second home. Yeah. Yes, it's your yeah, second home. home. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> it's a home for your family. I mean, you, you know, your 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 first daughter basically mm. uh, has grown up here, yeah. and your second daughter was born here. Born here. Um, do you feel like Vietnam provided you the your opportunities in order to make a successful business? Here, exactly. Yeah, the yeah, except the Vietnam, we couldn't achieve like this kind of like a journey. So yeah. Yeah, this is the biggest opportunity for us. So we, Vietnam changed our life. Yeah, indeed. Thank you so much Thank you. <laughs> to you, Masako and Sunny. Uh, you have very bright smiles and uh, very contagious smiles that you help to, uh, you know, transfer to other people uh, this uh, love, this happiness, and this passion for pizza uh, that that you know you 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 send out to not only the Vietnamese public but everyone that comes to your restaurant here in the country. I hope you the best of luck and success for your future endeavors, and we hope to see many more uh, restaurants uh, of Pizza 4P, not only in Vietnam, but across the world as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that is also wrapped up this edition of Talk Vietnam, where we got a chance to meet the founders of Pizza 4P, Masako and Sunny, and learn more about their inspiring journey of uh, passing on the message of peace, love and happiness all through pizza and wonderful food. Thank you very much for joining us here in our Talk Vietnam. We'll see you next time. Goodbye for now.